Hello there. The wheels must be coming off of the SNP bus for them to do this. So the SNP has a sex pest MP who brought his unwanted attention on an SNP staff member. And as I said in a video yesterday, the SNP hierarchy then decided to give their full backing to the pest, Patrick Grady, and throw their staffer under the omnibus. But during all of this, the SNP MPs had a meeting and a secret recording basically showed that Ian Blackford was urging them to support Grady. And all this will have achieved is put out the message that you'd better keep your mouth shut for the sake of independence. But instead of holding the likes of Grady and Blackford to account, the SNP Chief Whip Owen Thompson told everyone by email that parliamentary security had been alerted to someone sharing a recording without consent and that serious questions about the legality of doing so needed to be answered. And he's also summoning every SNP MP to a one-to-one -one meeting with him in his quest to root out the source of the leak. The Times got hold of the email where Thompson called the leak beyond the pale and something that was unacceptable and would not be tolerated. Hang on a moment, I don't remember anyone in the SNP saying things like that about the Partygate leaks, do you? No, all we got was resign, resign, resign. But now we're getting talk from the SNP about a way back for people. Is that the new zero tolerance they practice? More hypocrisy from the SNP, a party that is now holding itself well below the waterline. And I would say that releasing that recording was in the public interest. And the more this goes on, the more that is proven. This for me shows a political party that feels it is now on politically shaky ground. A confident party would have ejected Grady and looked after their staffer but one gets the feeling that the SNP and its leader Nicola Sturgeon are on the path of inflicting a dodgy independence referendum on the people of Scotland and so need an untarnished reputation. Well, their domestic record, questions over their party accounts, and now this will put paid to that. Hopefully this will all come to the attention of the sensible Scottish voters who will then vote accordingly at the next available opportunity.